WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside, as well as each of the sectors with inside the S&P 500. Let's take a look at it. we got the Dow off 452 points, 1 to 3 tenths percent, 1 to 8 tenths for the S&P. That's 72 points, nearly 3% nearly 3% for the NASDAQ 100, 320 points, about 2% for the Russell. That's 32 points to the downside. Gold is off uh, two per, uh, a little over 1%, 21 bucks. Silver's down 1.5% or 35 cents. Light sweet crude is off uh, 9 tenths or 70 pennies. Light sweet uh, natural gas is back 1 to 3 tenths percent. Uh, it's down 6 cents. And a 30 year treasury printed out at 128.16. That's up 11 ticks. Let's take a look at our nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. Well, the ES Mini did form that new daily profile, the bottom of which is 3841. Right now we're trading at 3831, so 10 points below that. It's really a matter of what does this look like at day's end? Does that level hold? If it does not hold, really two different things that could be setting up here. One, you've got that measured move consolidation area that gives us a price target of about 3757. 37.27 is the top of that October 3rd swing point, but you could get an A to B equals CD to the downside. We don't have that just yet. Price would need to take out the uh, low from a couple of days ago. But if it did that, then we actually could get an A to B equals CD to the downside. I believe it's going to look something like this. If it does form, that would give us a price target that says we get all the way back down to that October 3rd low in a 35.43 level. It's really same kind of condition inside of the NQ. The NQ, though, has been trading with inside its uh, October 13th, uh, so October 3rd, yeah, October 13th swing point. Um, it is below the bottom of its new profile. That number to watch there is 11,173. So this suggests, a close below certainly 11,173, suggests at a minimum a move down to about the 10,850-ish type area to 10,595. And it could actually be set up at A to B equals C to the downside that actually takes out that October 3rd swing point. So that will take a look at volumes, try to get a feel for what's going on inside the index ETF structure. What's causing a lot of that pain out there? Well, say U.S. dollar index still has that by the D point bottom that was formed out here on December the 15th. And uh, that level is held. Now, price is inside its daily profile. That new profile has support at 103.64 and resistance at 104.67. Gold has found resistance. That's at the top of its weekly profile. That's up at the 1836 level. It's pulling back in empathy with uh, the U.S. dollar index rising. Hey, folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.